Hey, it's Johara. Welcome back to my channel, too. Be with you, readers. So I'm going to be talking about the latest book I just finished, B by Ellie Lieberman. Um, it was amazing. It took me longer to finish just because um, I've been so exhausted and drained from work that <laughs> um, reading has just not been there. But I finally finished it, and I loved it, everything about it. So I'm going to try not to get too spoilery in here. Wish me luck because I'm going to need it. <laughs> But, I loved the characters. They were just so three-dimensional and real, and there were so many things I loved about them. My favorites were Ari and Henry, which are the two main, main characters. Um, and I absolutely love their friendship. Like, it was one of my favorite things of this book. And I love that this uh, book focuses more on the friendship and um, stuff like that rather than the romance. I don't even think there really was romance. Um... Yeah, I don't think there was. I mean, there was a uh, talk about Fra, Fra and um, Sarah, but you don't even meet Sarah. I know you do in book two, from what I hear, but uh, there's just mention for right now. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot of friendship and family dynamics going on. Ari has um, a complicated relationship with her family and all her brothers. And then Henry has a complicated relationship with his siblings as well. So, <laughs> um, it's not all smooth sailing, but Henry and um, Ari are able to find like a family because they they kind of get each other. They don't understand each other's traumas, which was mentioned, which I really liked. Because I feel like there's so many times in real life and in media or books or whatever, someone will be like, oh, you know, this happened to me. So the other person will be like, oh, yeah, I get it. When, no, you don't. Unless it actually happened to you. Like, if um, someone says something about losing parents, someone else will have also lost a parent. They're like, I know how that feels. They actually know how that feels. But if you didn't lose a parent, then no, you can sympathize with it. But you can't understand that pain. And... I really like that that was addressed because I have a similar theme addressed in one of my scenes in The Queen of Monsters, which is book three of my book coming out eventually. Um, so I really like that another book will mention that because Henry and uh, Ari, they can um, sympathize with each other's pains and traumas that happen in the past, but they can't um, understand it. But they do get each other in other ways. Like, they both, like, have been through a lot. They both don't trust easily, they both um, can, can be a little on guard and on edge after everything that's happened to them, and uh, so I feel like Ari's worse in some of those cases, like she just doesn't trust, and I feel like Henry can be a bit more trusting, but still more wary as well, because uh, he's been through a lot, even more than Ari, but, and I love how you they both got to see what the other one's world were like before they met. I mean, at the very beginning, Hen Ari ends up taking Henry in to kind of, this isn't much of a spoiler because it happens pretty much early on, he's on the run, and she ends up uh, helping him and hiding him from the king. <laughs> so, um, and then closer to the end when they're trying to infiltrate the palace, uh, she gets to see a bit more of his life. Um, palace life and stuff. She has to dress up as a kitchen maid and stuff um, for disguise, to be in disguise and stuff. So, um, yeah. And they both got to see kind of each other's lives before they met because things became intense after they met. But they became close because they both um had walls built, but they, especially Ari, I feel like Ari more so in some ways, but they got close, and they let their walls down with each other, and they truly cared about each other, and they be, basically became best friends. Like, they were, and I absolutely love the relationship, because they would tease, they would fight, they would argue, um, they would joke, they would, um, just slap each other if one of them worried the other, they would, uh, just, it, it was, it's just such a fun little banter, fun little relationship to read about, because they have it all, you know, they have the good and the bad and stuff, they have the teasing and the, um, 
fighting and arguing and um, uh, all of it, the playfulness, the jokes, all of it, and it's so fun. Um, because for the first time they both have someone like that, and um, because like I said, they both have had um, complicated relationships with their families. I, I don't want to spoil too much about um, Henry's relationship with his brother Frog, but with um, Ari's relationship with her brother, she has four, um, Nick, Wells, and then the twins, which are Pine and Rowan. And um, they can all, they, I feel like with the twins, it's a lot less complicated because they're a lot younger and stuff, and they just, they still look up to her and stuff. But it's very complicated with Nick and very, very complicated with Wells. And one thing I love is that with Henry's relationship with Frog was that um, they finally had this moment where they can confront each other about everything that's happened in the past year. Like I said, I don't want to spoil too much, but because even though they were happy to be together again and they were happy and they cared about each other, there was still so much that happened that past year that they can't just wish away and forget and act as if it never happened, you know, because it did happen and it affected them and it changed things. They both had changed after everything they've been through in that past year and their relationship had changed because for this whole year, this happened. And I, like I said, I don't want to spoil too much, so I won't say what happened, but something happened, something big, which changed the course of their entire relationship and the characters individually. And um, they finally had that moment to confront because they needed to to ever move on because they were just so happy to be together again for so long that they were just ignoring the pain and trauma that had happened this past year. And that moment is just something they both needed to finally admit that something isn't right and that they need if if they were ever to move on and be good again, they would have to have that moment to confront about all the bad things that happened that past year because things weren't okay yet. And they were pretending like it was, but they needed that moment to just say, this isn't okay, we need to talk about everything that's happened. I'm so happy they finally had that moment. Same with, uh, similar something with Ari and Wells, because they're the ones that had the most complicated relationship out of her and her brothers. And um, they had this, moment before Ari went for her part of the plan for the palace thing with um, uh, Henry and Ralph and I move my hands a lot I talk with my hands don't mind me but um and I'm trying to remember what uh, it said exactly because it I really liked it because it was basically saying how um I had to find it because I didn't remember the exact wording, but the wording is what I'm trying to find. Um, uh, he said he hadn't earned her sympathy and he knew it, which I really like that he acknowledged that because, like I said, their relationship was very complicated, even more so than Henry and Frost. So, um, and Wells hadn't made things easy with her, like he was always the one to jump down her throat and not make things easy with her. It's like he wasn't even trying. And I like that also said that he missed her and always had to show is showing his more vulnerable side because up until recently we haven't gotten that side. Like the only side of their relationship we've had gone until recently was them fighting and acting as if they hated each other. And they had a confrontation a little bit earlier too, where they were talking about their past and why they were never close and how Wells was hurt that Ari always looked up to Nick and not him and how Ari was always hurt that Wells looked like he was following his father's first steps which they have issues with their father and that scared her which is why she could never get close to him and stuff like that and it was just um and they finally had a real heart to heart which they needed kind of like Henry and Brock and then in this moment he acknowledges that um uh, he says um, he had to earn her sympathy, which I just love because it's true, he hadn't. And um, he, he couldn't um, just ignore. And, but um, he knows that um, he hadn't earned her sympathy yet, and that it's going to take some time to heal those wounds that have 
form between the two of them. It's gonna take some time for these wounds to heal to be better to for their relationship to be somewhat okay again. And I really like that he acknowledged that. There's some really deep and meaningful themes that I like because I love a good uh, book with like deep and meaningful themes and stuff. And I feel like this one definitely has a lot. And yeah. But um, the ending fight was so good. And I'm still not over it. <laughs> um, I cried. A character died. Actually, two characters died. One character died a little bit earlier, and that one made me upset. But this one made me cry. And to find out that he was planning this all along, that he knew he was never going to make it out of this alive, hurts even more. And yeah, so they won the war, technically, but they lost something important when they lost him. I'm trying not to spoil too much, but it's really hard because I like to rant and I like to talk and I want to rant about how much I love the book and how much that death hurt me. <laughs> Last time a death hurt me that much was uh, a character in the Manson's variant, but now this one hurts just as much. <laughs> These authors want to kill me, but I have no room to talk because I do the same thing in my books. <laughs> my mom and best friend still want to kill me for death in my second Jasmine Press book. So, you know, I guess we're all the same at the end as authors. But, um, yeah, so it was just really good all in all. Five, five out of five. I absolutely loved it. And I just loved everything about it. And I definitely highly recommend it. Rated it five stars. Reviewed on Amazon Goodreads. And I want you all to check it out because it was amazing. And I loved it so much. So definitely check it out. I highly recommend. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment. Uh, if you want to read this, I, um, I'll talk to you guys below in the comments. And I'll talk to you guys later.